here is a Nissan diff big diff out of a Nissan and this you see just for example that's a big LSD and then look at this little tiny Eaton e-locker these Eaton e-lockers the electric locker from Eaton is an aftermarket diff lock now you see how this crown wheel the spigot diameter for the crown wheel is where my finger is they could have made these Eaton's just like they made the standard see how the spigot diameter for the crown wheels there the crown wheel bolts onto the face with the bolts and then they have this just a little bit smaller only by like 0.2 of a mil fuck all half a mil <coughs> so you can put big gears in it look how they've made it very very small so they can use all their little shitty gears in all the different cars We'll go get a standard LSD and show you because that's out of a Land Cruiser. But what they do, I reckon, is they make all these internal gears to fit all their e lockers. So they make them really small. That's the size could have been. I'll get a pair of calipers. That's the size they could have made the gears inside this Eaton e locker. But instead of putting big gears in it that cost them more money to make, they put these little tiny gears that just smash to pieces. Why would somebody want to upgrade and spend money on an e-locker to go off-roading and full-wheel driving and climbing up hills when all you do is get tiny little gears? Well, they're much bigger. That carry could have been made. Look, look at that. They've got rocks in their head, these manufacturers. Using little tiny planetary gears when they could have had big gears like that. This vehicle weighs three and a half tonne. So you've got all little tiny planetary gears, only good for a, a go kart. Put it behind a great big vehicle. You don't have to make bigger planetary gears anyway for bigger diffs again. Nissans and uh, much trucks if you get involved with trucks. Why not put the, the biggest maximum size planetary gears in that the carrier will allow? Where, where are their brains? They must have um, design engineers out of the asylum or something designing this shit. <laughs> Um, the other thing that's very poorly designed on this thing, look at these little tiny screws that holds this on. These are little uh, eight mil bolts, screws you call them, something to hold a hinge on a door. But um, <laughs> you can't work these Umbos out, fair dinkum. We'll undo all this, and cut that, I'll get the span, I'll undo it, but we'll fall. This is the bolts in there. Look at that little tiny bolt. They're down as screws. Screws. Look at that little tiny screw holding half of it on. On the pressure side too. Yeah. Loaded up more than that one, this side. Mm. Pinions driving here. Pinions turning there. Turning that, which is turning there. And they got these little screws holding it on. These, these are, are all just yeah. bust off. These are extractor bolts. These, these tapped holes there. Anyway. Yeah. Christ almighty. Rocket scientists. It just goes to show you, Dad, that you don't have to make anything good to sell it in the market. Obviously. <laughs> buy, the, buy a box. Yeah. A box. All you do is make a nice looking box and sell it empty and you'll still make money.
Yeah. Now, that's the return spring, this thing. These little gears they have. Look yeah. at that locking ring, how sloppy it is. Oh, the cock and the sock. Why would they make it so sloppy for? What's the benefit of that? Because they've got a, a raving lunatic as a design engineer in their organisation. You know how long that'll last down here in the roundabout? Go and get the locking ring that we have in our Land Cruiser gift locks. Look at the area. There's plenty of area. They could have put, instead of eight, they could have put 16 bolts here. Two each side if they wanted to keep to that size. This could have all been machined out bigger and put big bolts, not little tiny screws. We'll do a comparison on the locking ring. He'll just go grab a locking ring for the TJM Pro Locker that he sold to them. Used to be the McNamara Diff Lock 30 years ago when Dad designed it. TJM now sell it as the Pro Locker and even they make it all wrong. I've got videos on the internet showing what TJM do, make everything fucking wrong. All these big companies that make all this shit make everything fucking wrong. Just pause it for a second. Okay. Uh. This is the junk that eggheads fall into buying. Here's the Land Cruiser Nissan Patrol side gear. Well, this is all, all smash through here. Once you go around around about once or twice. And you've got the, uh, the old three, the old three, three cross uh, system in this. See how it wobbles around. Yeah. Mm, it's yeah. all loose, yeah. That's one single cross through here. Bolt to stop it coming out. And all mm, these and two short ones. With a uh, bolt each side. See it moving, look. <clears throat> yeah, it all loosens see up. Yeah, it all moves. Yeah, it all becomes That's loose. That's common in that system, whereas the um, one in the pro locker, locker has a solid cross. Pro locker got a solid one piece cross. Big gears the same as size as that. You see. Look at, look at that. Would you rather that behind your three and a half ton four wheel drive with this pox little thing? Eh? As I say, this is bad news. Look at how sloppy this is. This is only designed to work once, this thing. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure it works a few times in the dirt, as soon as you go Try on the bitumen road. Big, big rocky hill or something. Or yeah, if you go rock crawling track. it wouldn't. Rock That's crawling it just fails. smash the pieces through here. Sharp edges. Mm. But uh, little tiny screws. I wonder they didn't put a smaller one in there, like an eighth of a, a, a quarter of an inch or something. Well, that's what they virtually are. There's the uh, return thing, eh? They're the pins, the engaging pins that push, push oh, up. Oh, yes. See? When you... That's the electromagnet. Yeah, you turn that, and it push, turns the it's pins. Three, three pins. Pushes but it in they unlock, around. when you roll backwards, they unlock all this shit. Yeah, so this is the fine design that the... Uh, the Yankee Doodle Dandies came up with after they looked at the Pro Locker that I sent them years ago, that is. Mm. So, that's the problem that you got with this thing. Climbing up a steep hill. Climbing up a steep hill, it goes to that position. And when you go backwards, I'll get the finger on the pin. There it is. So you go on that way, it's going there, it's locked. 
Then you're going up the hill and you go backwards. So you go backwards, it goes boom, unlocks, and then tries to lock up again. Then you're going to go forwards, you go that way, and this pin drops in the low spot, which pulls the locking ring out, the spring does. Then it goes, tries to lock again. You've got a, a lock and unlocking position wherever this is rotating. So yeah. It unlocks, locks. And this rotates when the wheel rotates. Yeah, it's going magnet, the electromagnet is holding the ring back. Mm. So, so, all they're going to do is put some decent bolts here, make this all bigger. Some hexagon bolts, at least 10 mil to start with. You can put 10 of them if you want, or 12 of them. eight of those but um, there's 16 on here 16 but can't talk them up no they're pushing a big three ton three and a half ton vehicle up a big big hill yeah no wonder they're not smashing up more rapidly these things but anyway They just Look want to at the make logo. One size spline. Eaten. It'd be a shame to put that on the carrier. Well, that's right. Eaten. Wow. Their name sells, you see. What else do Eaton make that's any good? What do they, what does Eaton make? They make, might make a, a pie and sauce, I don't know. Eaton, I wonder what they make. Oh, Eaton, they've been making diffs and gearbox parts for, for years. Why would they make such a fucking shitty made diff lock now? You have to ask them. Anyway, they're the, they're the pins. I'll stop this, alright, and put it on the internet. That's it.